a lot of gay guys that find Christ end up willingly being celibate, but it, or sometimes they, you know, they end up having their minds changed by God and their heart changed and everything. Uh, hold on, <laughs> I hear lots of noise. That's, oh, that's yeah, sorry, New York. Hold on. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Is that you guys? That's yeah, us. That's us. Hell's Kitchen. Are they man. okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, but. What was I going to say? Yeah, so I think the question that I would have for anyone that is gay and trying to have a relationship with God, because whenever I whenever I hear talk about this conversation, it's usually like, well, does God should I be celibate the rest of my life? Like, why should I be? And I think that question in itself is is um, I think it might be maybe an indicator of maybe uh, a deeper relationship needs to be built with Christ because if you're living for Christ then it shouldn't even be a matter of why am I going to be single why do I have to be celibate it's I love my Lord and I want to serve my Lord so it doesn't it doesn't even phase me um I could even take it a step further and say like okay if we're if we're looking at it from the perspective of self-denial you know everyone's got to pick up their cross and follow Jesus so uh why is it in that context i see a lot of people that say you know i am a gay christian i'm married to a guy i still have sex with this guy um are they truly uh denying their their flesh as if you know as as they would be expected does that make sense Mm -hmm. i mean it does but at the same time it's just it's easy to say that from your perspective 